All right, we are now going to build the callout section of this design. And as always, we need to clean up our layers over here and group together these common elements. So let's take the layers that make up the left side and group them together. So that's the web, that's the uh, copywriting section. So we need the copywriting layer. So that's this text, that copywriting, and that is the web design icon. So we'll take all those and group them together. So I can toggle those. Whoops, looks like I actually grabbed the wrong text there. I need to pull out that web design text. There we go. <clears throat> so it looks like we have everything but the icon there. So we need to grab that copywriting icon, which is right here, the pencil icon, and grab that, drag that into the group. So that entire group is together. We'll just call this copyright group and do the same thing for our web design. So we'll take this, this, and this layer and group those all together. Make sure that we have everything inside of there. We'll call that web design group. And then let's grab both of those and group them. We'll call these header groups. So that I can just simply toggle that entire thing off and on. And then everything's nicely organized inside of there. Now this guides layer, I'm gonna actually grab this guides layer and rearrange that. I'm gonna pull this clear back down to right above the background. And I'll minimize this wireframe blocks. Okay, now we're, we've got a little bit cleaner layout here. We can go to work on this call out box. So the first step is to grab our rounded rectangle tool and set your radius pixel to five pixels. Um, we're gonna work with a, a fairly small radius on this box. So make sure that you set your uh, drawing option set to shape and not to path. We were working with path before, so we need to make sure we shape, uh, put that back to shape. So let's draw out this box. So we'll just create a big shape here. This call out box is gonna be fairly large. It's gonna span the entire width of our content area. So we'll kind of pull that out and just rough in the size there and let go. And that creates our shape layer. And the shape layer you can see is created right down here. And we need to make sure that shape layer is up above these layers. So I'll come up, pull this one up so I can see it. And I'm just gonna call this the call out box base. Now we're going to be applying several layer styles to this shape. So I'll zoom in a little bit here so we can see how this is going to affect this. Okay, select your call out box base layer and come down to the FX menu or the layer styles menu. You can al also access via layers menu. And we're gonna start out with a stroke. So we'll add a stroke and we're gonna set this stroke again as we did before to the inside and we're gonna set it just to one pixel. So it's gonna be a very light stroke um, inside of this object. And we will adjust the opacity down a little bit. So we're gonna bring the opacity down just to maybe 10 or 15%. So a fairly low opacity. And we'll select okay there. The next layer style we're going to add is going to be a gradient overlay. So we can come down to our FX menu and choose gradient overlay. And for our gradient, it's gonna be a really light gradient. So let's click on the gradient editor to pull up our gradient. And we'll choose our first color stop here. So select this color stop. And it's going to be a really light, uh, a light gray really, almost with a little tint of yellow. So I've pasted in a color I had pre-selected, which is E, B, E, A, E, five. And uh, you can use that same color or use a similar one. And that's gonna be the bottom color of our gradient. And it's gonna flow into the color white. So the very top of our gradient will actually be pure white, F, F, F. See, let's uh, apply that gradient. So we'll select OK there and uh, select OK there. And let's back out to 100% view to kind of see how that's looking. All right, the next effect we're gonna add is a slight drop shadow. So let's add another layer style and we're gonna add a drop shadow to this box. And we'll select our options here. Now we're gonna pull the distance down to just maybe one. And we're gonna pull the size of this drop shadow way down to maybe one. And then we're gonna pull the opacity down to maybe 40 or 50% just 
Just we just want a slight shadow on that bottom edge, but fairly subtle. And then we'll select OK there. So let's move uh, move in and see how that looks. That looks fairly decent there. We may need to adjust that bottom shadow just here. And then we're gonna add a uh, slight inner shadow. Let's go to our FX menu and say inner shadow. And we're gonna set this blend mode of the inner shadow to normal and the color to white. And just bring these both down to one pixel. So distance we're gonna set to one, size we're gonna set to one. And then I'll just add this little slight white um, highlight at the very top. Then we're gonna come back to our gradient overlay and we're gonna scale that out a little bit just to push that out so we can see that slight uh, white highlight at the top. It's almost imperceptible, but if we zoom way in, we've basically added a one pixel line right there. And on the video, you probably won't be able to see it because of the compression changes the colors a little bit, but you will be able to notice just a slight white uh, line there on your own screens. All right, so that's the basis for the base of our callout box. We're gonna add some text in here. We're gonna build in our callout button and add a little bit of texture. So we'll add the texture first and then we'll do the, the button and the text. All right, let's add a little bit of texture to this callout box. So select your callout box and we're gonna right click this and say convert to smart object. Now we're gonna convert it to a smart object because we're gonna be using a smart filter like we, like we did before when we created the shadow on our featured slider up here. So we're gonna to go to our filter menu and we're gonna go down to noise and over to add noise. So you can see if I crank the amount up here, this is what we're adding to this object, is a little bit of noise. Now this is just going to give it a little bit of a tactile feel so it's not so perfectly flat with these nice smooth gradients. So we can bring the uh, amount down quite a bit. <clears throat> you can change this between uniform and Gaussian. I prefer uniform for this particular instance. And we just want a little bit of noise. So maybe 2%, almost imperceptible. But if you zoom in, you can see that noise inside of that button. It just adds a little bit of texture to our object Back at 100%, it's almost imperceptible. So now we have a little bit of texture in there. We're gonna go ahead and add the text and add our tagline and then our button. So we'll just uh, grab a type tool here and select this and we'll say fancy call out box. Of course the color there needs to be the color we can actually see. And we'll bring that up and then I'm just going to hold down option to pull this down and say type a little message here and we'll change the weight of that font maybe down to 14 point and change the color to something other than the the same color there. And then we'll build in our button over here, which is maybe says buy now or click here or act now. And build that button next. 